Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. Welcome to my new series that is regular expressions. So what are these regular expressions and why we need to learn these regular expressions? Let's try to see. So here I am trying to write this side. What are regular expressions and where do they actually come from? And where we have where we can use these regular expressions normally. Let's try to see this one. So where we will use this regular expression? First, we'll try to understand that. So where we actually use these regular expressions normally. So if you understand that where we use this regular expression normally means then you will understand that why this regular expression is useful for us. Let's try to see. If you have a passwords, so if you have one or more two passwords and you want to check that it has matched a certain criteria. So if those two passwords has marked has matched a certain criteria means <coughs> how we can check that one. So this type of scenarios we can done using the regular expressions, not result expression. Sorry, it was regular expression. If you have two passwords and you want to check those two passwords are matching the certain criteria, that means certain rules and regulations. If it is matching means so you can use that one. You can we, we can check that one using the regular expression. So another scenario where we can check is if you have an email address and you want to make sure that it meets the format of an email address. So you have an email address from the input you are trying to take it and you want to check that whether the email address, the format of the email address is correct or not. If you want to check it means, if you want to check it means, so that can be done using the regular expression. If you have a number of times, you have a number of times a specific word has been repeated. So you are having a word and you want to check for a specific letter or a specific word exactly how many times that has been repeated in a sentence means you can use you can, you can check it with using the regular expression <clears throat> for example you have a very big log file you are having a database server log file and you want to check for a certain data so for those scenarios also we can use the regular expression we can also use the regular expression to extract the information from the URL. So you are having a an URL and you want to extract some information from the URL, something like query mark strings or hash parameters. So this hash URL. So these are all the things if you want to extract some of the data means. So that can also be done using the regular expression. So these are the different ways how we can uh, to get uh, how we can get the information using the regular expression in these different different scenarios we will be using this regular expression to extract the data from the url so to analyze the log file so to know that how many times a specific word or a specific letter has been occurred in a particular sentence or otherwise if you want to check that the proper format of an email address is correct or not so these are all the scenarios you can check it using the regular expression <clears throat> so now let's try to see this what is the regular expression Actually, the regular expression concept, the concept of this regular expression was first developed in 1950. So long back only in 1950s only it was developed by a mathematician called Stephen Keen. Here the guy, the Stephen Keen has the concept. He has first developed the concept of regular expression. So when it was first developed, it was named with a name of regular language. So it, when it was first developed, so it was called with the name of regular language. Afterwards, it was regularly being used as a part of the Unix for test processing language. So, after, so uh, in 1950s and after something like that, so it was it was developed by a mathematician Stephen Keen, and we understood that. So this was normally it was used it was called as a regular language so after later so, so after some years passed out so now again the it was afterwards it was regularly being used as a part of the unix for text processing utilities the so unix means you'll be able to un, uh, you'll be able to aware of this one there is nothing but an uh, operating system so in the unix operating system so this like regular, regular expressions the first was regularly used in this one so why it was used in Unix is for text processing things we will be using. So if you are using Unix or Linux operating systems, you may heard about this grep. So you may be heard about, heard about this grep thing. 
you are using unix or linux so grep stands for the global search for regular expression and print matching so the full form here the full form for the grep is nothing but global search for the regular expression and print matching so grep applies the concepts that was developed by stephen king and that's the reason that, and that this grip made regular expression so popular so normally the grep applies the concept so the grep the we have seen right the grep command so this grep command applies the concepts that was developed by stephen king the like regular language and because of this reason maybe the because of using the grep uses this regular expressions right so because of this reason maybe <coughs> the regular expressions has become more popular because of this grep usage the linux so now we understood that how the regular expressions came and how it has become popular we have understood many different variations occurred for the regular expression so after evolving so after invention of this regular expressions and all the things so many different variations many different different changes has been occurred in the regular expression but actually after some days it was standardized by the POSIX standard okay so it was made standardized by the POSIX standard so the first version of the regular expression was used in the Perl in 1980. <clears throat> the first version of the regular expression was used in Perl language. So this was the first time used in the programming languages. So in 1980s it was used in the first time in the Perl. So this was the first time that was used in the programming language. In 1997, Philip Hazel has developed PCRE for use in many modern tools. So here he have in 1997 so philip hazel so with the name philip hazel has developed this pcre so i will try to tell you that uh, pearl compatible regular expression so for use in many to modern tools modern tools and modern languages if you want to use it means so he has developed this pcre so pcre stands for pearl compatible for regular expression so pcre stands for the pearl compatible for the regular expression the reason why I am saying this, the syntax that we are going to learn will be very useful in many different platforms. So now the reason why I am saying this regular expression and all those things means I am why I am saying this, the syntax that we are going to learn here, it will be useful in many different platforms and different languages. We can use this regular expression. In this series, what we are trying to do is we will be looking especially in the JavaScript only and how it will be used in the JavaScript. Okay, so now in this series we will learn like this. But the syntax and the grammar that we use to define the pattern in regular expression are common across the multiple languages. So that means the syntax and the grammar what we are trying to learn in this series so the pa to define the pattern in the regular expression. So the syntax and grammar and the pattern what we are trying to learn in the regular expression in this series are common across all the multiple languages not only exclusively for javascript not it is it can be used for a for all the common programming language but there may be a slight differences we might see but majority of the syntax and grammar is common so you there may there might be having slight differences in the programming language different programming languages but the majority of the syntax and the grammar is common this means that <clears throat> What you learn about the regular expression here, you can use it in other places without any problem. So now whatever the regular expressions that you are trying to learn it here, you can use it in other places also without any problem. So this is all about the regular expression introduction, how the regular expression came. So who developed this regular expression in, in which scenarios we can use this regular expression. So these are all the scenarios. Uh, these are all the concepts we have learned it so this is all about this regular expression introduction if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you